Hello everybody. I want to do another Daphne's Diary project with you today. Um, I just want to say a huge thank you for all the kind comments and views that I received from the last video. We got 10,000 views, which is just absolutely um, amazing. Um, just love to hear that so many of you are following along. Now, I want to continue in this um, Daphne's Diary magazine journal that I've created here and do something with the Easter edition so this is issue number two is easter stroke spring and there are just so many gorgeous images in here that i want to use i plan to do this before i went away for easter last week and just ran out of time you know sometimes in a week things happen but i want to start off with this beautiful image here i just love it it's just absolutely gorgeous so i'm just going to go off now and see if i can find a page that um, will fit this beautiful image and let's see what we can put together so this is where i'm going to start i think the colors of the pages match beautifully um, and will work really well so we'll start here i'll do something on this side here so i'm just going to start off by cutting um this out I've chopped out my page and cut it down and what i'm going to do is just remove this page here just to make it easier for me to work on so let's fold this over and how do i want to do this now i've pulled out one of the pages from the daphne's diary paper box and i'm thinking that um, this part of the paper here will work really well um, i think it'll match with the colors on the other side so that's what i'm going to do so i think um let's have a look let me just um let me just see i just need to mark where where i need to to cut so let's grab my pencil and let's go and cut this off on the paper trimmer and we'll see where we go from here i'm going to glue this down first and i think i want it from the bottom up so that's what i'm going to do let's just apply some glue stick glue stick is just perfect for for using for glue books you don't need anything any stronger Pritt stick i find holds really well um, it's permanent and so we'll stick this down here let me stand up to do this not too close to the um, edge because i just want to make sure that my page still folds um, properly once it's back in the journal and of course i can cut the excess off so let's have a look and see what um we can do with this this piece here now i do think i want my chick to go on um i don't want to glue it completely to the left hand side because i'll lose too much of this beautiful paper on the right so i think i want it there um, let's just have a look i want to make sure that i get the whole of the house in yep i think that will work so i think i'm going to glue that there like that this time i'm just going to add my glue to this side here because otherwise i'm just going to end up in a really horrible gluey mess so i'm just going to add my glue to my directly to my page of course I need to round off the corners so let me do that top and, um, and bottom that looks better and then of course I need to find a way to join these two pages together now I've got this lovely washi tape that I had from um, your creative studio and I think that's going to be perfect just really subtle um, I will add some glue to this because you know I want to make sure that it um, sticks really well I think the black design goes really well with the illustration on the left and how about we fussy cut this beautiful lady out to use as our focal image so I'm just going to go off and do that now Got my lady out and isn't that just the most gorgeous page I love that there it is back in its spot I think the colours just work beautifully together. Um, love that page. Really happy. Let's have a look and see if we can do something with this portrait of Jane Austen, this illustration here. Of course, this was um, a Jane Austen piece 
for anybody who lives in the UK that hasn't been to Bath, it's just a beautiful city. Just, you know, do go. Um, Stephen and I have been many times before. So I'm just going to cut this out and see if I can find a way to use this um, on my spread or somewhere in my journal. So I think this should go here, about there, I think. Um, I do want to ink around the edges. I'm just going to use whatever ink I've got left. So we'll just do this and then glue this down on the centre. I think that will look um, lovely. Just adds a really nice focal piece to the doily. Rather than just um, use a glue stick, I'm going to use my art glitter glue just around the edges so that it doesn't seep through the holes of the, the doily. So we'll just put a small amount of glue all the way around the edges, I think. And then I want something to put on the back of the doily here. And I'm wondering whether I can use a few sentences from this um, poem. I'm waiting for nature to wake up, to open its doors anew. I can't wait to watch the birds busily building a nest, catching food for the young, never a moment to rest. I don't know. I'm just going to have a look through this and see if I can pull out um, a few lines. I've chosen a few sentences from that poem. I'm waiting for nature to wake up, to open its doors. I'm waiting for the days to get warmer and lighter when springtime will have arrived and the sun will be here to stay. Let's hope so anyway, because it's just been so wet and miserable here since the middle of December. December so we can only hope but I just want to try and find a way to get this to fit um, onto this page here so let me fiddle around and I'll show you what I come up with. Let me show you how I've finished this spread off. I've just taken a few sentences from that poem. I'm waiting for nature to open its doors to wake up. I'm waiting for the days to get warmer and lighter when springtime will have arrived and the sun will be here to stay. Um, that just looks really aesthetically pleasing to me. We've got this um, thirds going on where your eye follows the page around. I'm really happy with that. I just think that's a beautifully cohesive um, spread. So what should we do next? I think I want to do something with these beautiful, gorgeous bunnies. And the idea is that these are dimensional. So we've got some cutouts here on the opposite side of the page. I'm just going to go off now and fussy cut these out and Let's see how we can position these in the journal. Cut all of my bits and pieces um, out. And this, I don't think, is going to be as easy as it looks. For instance, let's have a look here. We need to pop this together. And then we've got um, two baskets. But we need to be careful how we place this to make sure that the basket lid um, is in the right place. Hang on, let's try this um, again. Maybe, maybe like so. And we've got little chick as well. It needs to go in there like that. So I'm just going to take my time to try and piece this together. Um, again, for instance, we've got these lovely, um, cute little um, booty shoes. But there are several parts to this, so we need to work out um, how these are going to go. Is that one? No, nope, that one. Oh, there we go. That one goes there like that. <laughs> you see, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. Oh, my goodness. Right. OK, so we've got um, that in one piece. We've got the pantalons then that need to go um, here like um, like this. And then the arms. Let's have a look and see, see what we've got. Um, we've got here. So I think that one goes there. Yep. And this one, this one here, like, like so. So I'm just going to um, take my time now and try and spend some time putting um, these together. And I'm just going to use three in one, I think, to um, glue all of this down are just so cute and I love how they look. Um, now I think that I want to put them on these two pages here, this one and this one. So I've measured it and I'm just going to cut these down to size. 
So that's what they look like now that they're back in the journal. I just absolutely love these images against this pretty blue background. Now, I think the idea was that you use foam tape to pro um, pop up these cutouts. Um, I decided not to do that and just use glue because I don't want too much bulk inside this journal. Um, we've still got several pages left to, to fill, so I don't want it to become a gator mouth. So let me see what we can do next. I'm wondering whether I can do something with this image here. Mr. Pork, what did Mr. Pork borrow from his neighbour? Um, so it's one of those fun puzzles again. Um, but I'm going to fussy cut Mr. Pork out because I thought I might be able to use it um, alongside this page here. I've got the rest of this image that I cut out from the previous magazine. Um, and I'm wondering if I can maybe make a tag to slot in here like so. So let me cut Mr. Pork out and let's see if we can piece something together. So here's Mr Pork and what I'm thinking is that I can have him um, just on the bottom here something like that I think. I've got a piece of this paper left which was the beautiful paper that I used for, for this page here. I love the simplicity of that page, love the dog, that is just gorgeous but I'm just wondering whether I can perhaps cover a tag and so that I've got something to slot into that that folder. I don't know. I'm going to cover this tag first and let's see um, what we end up with. I'm just going to use a glue stick to stick this down. And how about we have Mr Pork outside his bistro. Let me just um, play around with this. Whoops, I've got glue on my fingers. Everything's sticking everywhere. And just have him off the page like this. I can trim that down. I think that's what I'm going to do. Trying to decide where to go from here has been really difficult. I absolutely love that. I'm not going to make it into a tag just yet. I may even decide to keep it as it is. But I keep coming back to this page here. I just love this pink. Um, it just goes really perfectly. And I'm just wondering if I can use this in some way as some kind of a backdrop. I know it means that I'm going to end up covering the blue up, but I don't think that matters. Otherwise, I'm going to have to find something to put in the background and it's all going to become um, too busy. So I'm going to cut this page out and let's see what we can come up with. I think I've got a plan. Let me just take this little um, page marker off. I was originally thinking that I would have the page on here, something like this, but it's just not going to work um, because I've got, got all of this on the left hand side. I've also got the page number. So I am wondering whether I can turn it um, on its side, then maybe glue this down as a tuck spot. And then I've only got to find something then to disguise this part of the page here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's take this out of the journal to make Make it um, easier to work on and I'm just going to um, glue this down to start off with. Let's round the corners off to make it easier to visualise. Let me just quickly do this. So I need to do the same with the... Do I need to do that? Oh gosh, hang on. Let me just turn my page round the other way. What do I want to do? I think I want to round the corners of the the tag on the bottom um, at least. I'm going to do that first and um, oh gosh, leave the top. Yep, yeah, you see, I think I like, I like that. So I need to find something now to go down the right hand side. Right, I've come up with a plan. I found this um, leftover piece in the Daphne's Diary paper box and I think that's going to work really, really well. So what I think I'm going to do is glue this down onto the right. It's a shame that we don't have any of the script on the bottom, but, you know, I don't really think that matters too much. So that's all I've got. Um, so I'm going to stick that down and then I'm just using my ruler here, my metal ruler, just to tear off the ex uh, extra, just so that I've still got those beautiful jaggedy lines. Let's open. Oh, I've got a big glob of glue let's get rid of that quick and then i can open this out and tear this bit off as well here we are 
and then I'm going to use a piece of that same washi tape that I used in one of my previous pages. Let me find it for you. Here we go. Same washi tape that we used for the Jane Austen page. And I'm just going to use a strip of that just to join that line because otherwise the line is just too, too harsh, whereas that just softens it. I think washi tape, especially thin washi tape, is such um, a useful thing to have in your stash for things like this. Again, I'm just going to use some glue because washi tape doesn't stick very well. And this is an old one and they do lose their sticky, you know. Perfect. There we are. I'm not worried about all of this because we're, we're going to cover this up anyway. I'm just going to round off the other two corners and then I'm just going to glue three of the sides. So this side, this side, this side on the back, of course. And I'm just going to pop that here. And in fact, do I do it like that? Or in fact, actually, I think I'm just going to glue it on these two sides so that I can tuck something inside here if I want to. But doesn't that look um, cohesive? I'm really happy with those colours. I think they work beautifully together. I could always put um, a little quote down here in the right hand corner if I wanted to. I'm just sticking this down on two sides. So adding a very small bead of glue trying to be as straight about this as I can. <laughs> I don't have a very straight hand. Um, you know I don't. So let's just, just do that. And then we can stick this on here. I want it to go there. I'm just going to weight that down underneath heavy book. And then I've got um, a lovely tuck spot that, you know, if I come across anything else, I can pop inside. I mean, Daphne's Diary always has these wonderful colouring pages that are just absolutely um, ideal. I just love that. I think the colours go perfectly. Now, I've got a problem because what I don't like is this, when this is included back in the journal. But I definitely want this to go here, so there's nowhere else I can move this to. So I've got a plan. Let me just take this out. What I'm going to do is cut this off, and then I can maybe use that um, on another page, just as a, as a tuck spot. I don't know, but um, I'm going to go away and cut this off. And of course, now I need to find a way to attach this to the page. So I've got this doily here. And this is a doily that I folded in half, um, cut in half, and then I've just folded over here. I hope that makes sense. And I'm just going to use this to make a spine because, of course, I need something to tuck under so that I can attach it to the page. I think that's going to be fine. I may even cut it um, a little bit narrower. We've got these little end pieces here that I need to cut off. So hang on, what have I done with my scissors? These ones will do fine. I'm just going to cut these end pieces off because these are just going to get raggedy um, otherwise. So let's just um, trim those off. And I do think I'm going to cut this down. Let's get my, my bigger scissors. I don't want it to be quite as, as wide as this because I don't want to cover up too much of, um, of this side here. So now I can glue glue that on and that looks really pretty doesn't it and tuck it under and I'm wondering as well whether I cut the semicircle out of the other side of the doily just to give this part some strength I might try it so here we are let's stick this on let me just stand up to do this so that um, I glue it in the right place this will just give a bit of strength just to that um, central central piece Where's my bone folder gone? Here it is, I can see it. Doesn't have to be perfect, that's fine. And then I can just um, cut away the extra. And then I can add some art glitter glue just to this side here. Um, just because this is a precision um, nozzle, it's easier to use. That should be fine. And let's make sure I get it um, in the right place. Stick this, stick this on. Doesn't that look pretty? 
So let's stick this down, down here like so. Yeah, I like the way that that looks. Problem solved. So let me just um, wait this down, let this dry for um, a few minutes and then we can insert it back um, into the journal. So let's insert it back in and see how that looks. You see, that's just much better. I like that a um, whole lot more. Let me just move it down a tad. And it's easier to open. It's more in keeping. And then, you know, we can open this page here as well. So then this piece here that I've cut off could either go here. Um, it could go, I found another spot for it as well. It could go on the side here as well. I don't know. I'm going to pop it to one side. Um, I don't want to limit my options, but um, yep, we can definitely reuse this. Let's do one more page. I absolutely love this image here. I'm thinking that I can maybe cut it down like this. I don't want to use the poem. I just want the um, the image of the lady. Absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm going to do it there and cut off this part here just because otherwise it misses her elbow, which just doesn't um, look right. So I'm just going to, shall I just tear this? Let's try and get it as um, straight as possible. There we have it. And I found this page here. Whoops, a daisy. Everything's moving around all over the place. I found this page here in my journal. Now, of course, this is too short. So I wondered whether I could use some of this washi tape. This is washi tape that I had from the washi tape shop. And I think colour wise, um, that might go. So I'm wondering whether I can use that on the right hand side. I don't know. I might have a look and see what else I can find. But, um, you know, that's certainly um, an option. Let's take this out of the journal again to make it easier to work on. I'm not going to overthink it. I'm just going to put a piece of this on. I just want to do away with that title at the top. So I think I'm going to glue it down here like this. Let's just cut that off and struggle with trying to get the backing off as I always do. Oh, here it comes. This is quite sticky, so I think I'm just going to stick this straight down to make sure I don't end up with that title. There we have, have it. Let's try and iron out any of the creases. I don't want those. I can always trim any overhang off. I like that. So I'm just going to trim these bits off. And then I want to have this green part on the journal here. I think that's going to look just fine. So I'm just going to stick that part there on and then bring back that same washi tape. And I'm just going to add a strip of this to join it all together. And just doesn't that make it more cohesive? There wasn't anything on the poem that appealed to me. I feel as if it needs some kind of quote. So I've had a look in my Tim Holtz ideology small talk and I found two. A dream is a wish your heart makes. So if we just pop these down here like this, live your dream with passion. I think that needs to go a little bit um, higher, higher up perhaps. So that's it. Um, that's what I'm going to finish my page off with. We've done quite a lot today. So that's that page. We also did the left hand side of this page here. I love how those two um, work together. I think um, the colours are just so nice. And of course, this was the first page we did. I love this Jane Austen page. Really happy with that. And of course, we did the bunnies as well. Now, I will be back very soon with another Daphne's Diary video because the new edition has just arrived. Shall we open it and just have a sneak peek? Here we go. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Let's have a quick flip through. Hang on. Let me just move my camera up. Let me just show you the cover. So that's the front and that's the back. Inside back cover and inside front cover. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just going to give you a really quick um, flip through. Oh, beautiful papers. All these are gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. We've got lovely poems again. Look at this with all the butterflies. Loads of articles. 
let's have a look and see what the poster is. I didn't use the poster that was in um, the previous edition because there was nothing in there that um, was really suitable for, for journaling. Isn't that one beautiful though? Absolutely gorgeous. The butterfly counts not months, but moments and has time enough. Stunning. And what else have we got? Beautiful images. Oh gosh. Some really lovely illustrations and things in this one again. There always are an article on Lisbon. Oh, you see this, I think will be absolutely perfect to go with the page that I've just created perhaps. So maybe we can do something with that um, next. Beautiful. I love to use the text on some of my pages as well. Makes great backdrops. Really lovely. I said a quick flip through, didn't I? And here I am sort of ooing and ahhing over all these beautiful pages. But, you know, I'm seeing this firsthand um, the same as you. But these would be lovely to cut out. Oh, lots of potential for my next um, Daphne's Diary glue book or junk journal with me. We can use these absolutely gorgeous embroidery artist, Heidi Course, I think that you pronounce that. Norway, I'd like to go to Norway. Let's just quickly flip through this, just for anybody who's interested. That's beautiful, isn't it? What's on the back? Oh, it's just plain on the back. I like that a lot. Gorgeous, recycled art. Oh, I'll enjoy reading this. Love these beautiful tags as well. Oh, we've got two pages of them, of those. And I've still got loads in issue number two as well that I want to use. It's just that if I don't stop now, this video is going to go on for, for too long. Love all of these that borders that we can use. Yeah, another really lovely um, edition. Like that. Oh, some really lovely things for us to use. Isn't that beautiful? And this as well, Paper Ladies. So that is it. Another gorgeous um, addition for us to play with by the, by the looks of things. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video and that it's given you some ideas and inspiration for using Daphne's diary um, in your journals and glue books. Um, if you did, as always, I'd very much appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. But most importantly, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.